Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. I'm looking for precious or semi-precious minerals in a creek bed. Anything that appears clear or translucent is a mineral that's semi-precious. They're hard to find, but with diligence you'll be able to find them. They're pretty prolific around the world, just like gold. If you want to hook up a sluice box and find gold, you can find it in most regions of the world. I'm here at the, uh, what we call it the dog run. It's, um, can't think of the name of the, the uh, Trotters Field. It's called Trotters Field in New Jersey. And I'm looking for translucent minerals in a creek bed. I brought a strainer. I'm not using this little handle and so far I found two things one is a gigantic piece of beautiful uh, quartzite I want to clean this up and put it with another mineral I have of the same shape but more rounded and welled off probably from a rock tumbler used in metaphys metaphysics but I like to collect them because they're beautiful. Now I found another mineral and every time I come here I find something. I don't know how to show you this on camera so I'll show you through the stereoscope in part three of this mineral of the show. This or, or part two. This is part one. It has, God forbid I drop it. it ha well not that one, this one. I don't know if you can notice, but it has red markings on it. It's either ink, paint, artificial, or it's something special. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, I found it here in this creek bed. So it would be rather far-fetched if it's uh, man-made with paint or ink. I'm in the middle of nowhere. It's a hot sunny day here in New Jersey about 95 degrees and 80 percent humidity and quite hot and uh, I've every time I come back oh look at the fish they zoomed away there they are if I can focus in on them. There's a beautiful dragonfly. If I can focus in on that. Uh, it's hard to tell where it is on the camera. Anyway, it's beautiful because nature's all around. And uh, the birds are up singing. There's a little fish in the water. It's a, it's a creek bed. Uh, when it rains, it fills up with water. What we're looking for, as you know, are transparent or translucent minerals. And there's a way you can cheat. You can simply walk on the dry part when it hasn't rained for a while. And you can pretty much notice what's transparent and what's translucent. Like you'll notice, these are translucent, uh, these are opaque. So we're not interested in those. Last time I was here, I found an ultramafic rock. It's opaque, but it has a deep uh, meaning in Bowen's reaction series as being formed deep underground with the m least silica contact content, the most. Um, I'm forgetting my geology, the most iron and magnesium. And it comes far from underneath the ground, comes up to the surface through volcanoes. How do you do this? Well, you take your strainer. Here's my strainer. I'm gonna put you down somewhere 
So I hope you can see this. And if not, please forgive me. Well, let me do it first. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but let me do it first. Okay. Right. You dig through a sample of minerals and rocks that you found in the creek bed. First of all, you notice that these are opaque, so discard them. This is quartzite, famous in New Jersey. It's opaque, however, but beautiful. And I don't know how indigenous it is to other parts of the world, but New Jersey's filled with quartzite. Whereas in Waltham, Massachusetts, where I used to live, there was, smoky, uh, there was milky and rose quartz laying all over the place, and I didn't know well enough to collect more of the beautiful milky and rose quartz. And I wish I could go back and, and, and uh, collect more. But there's other places for collecting, such as mines that you pay a small fee to, or no fee, to collect minerals in. You shake the, uh, what you found, and you hold it up to the light. Hold it up to the light, and you take a close look. Anything that shines light through it is opaque or clear. Sometimes you'll find glass, and you'll recognize that right away. And that's as, that's as, if you're in more of a city area. But that's what you do, and uh, I'm wearing Galoshes, so I'm walking three sheets to the wind to this uh, <coughs> this uh, stream, rocky stream. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. Always reminding you to keep looking down.